gloves always wear good PPE. Right, so what I've got going on here is that's me main seat mount type thing and I welded that little bush in there. This is all scrap metal by the way. That's a cheap shock absorber which I've just bought off of eBay for like, I don't know, 10, 15 bucks just to see if this works because I don't know if any of this is going to work or not yet. Um, so this is the prototype. I'm just making out bits of junk and stuff which I've had lying around. So. If this concept works, then I can make some nicer things like this with like rose joints at the end and stuff like that. But for now, this is what we've got. So, let's put this together. I hope this works, because if it does, it's going to look really cool, I reckon. And... But yeah, so for now I've just got to make it out the basic prototype just to see if it works and then if it does work, it's all good. So this is all just junk I've had lying around, apart from the shop absorber, I had to wait for that to come off of eBay. Um, but this spring is way too powerful, I was just going to have two of these on the back of the seat like a normal sprung seat, but they're way too strong for that, so that's why this, oh this is being built. And if this works, it's going to be really cool. Then yeah, that will go something like something like that under the seat. So then when that goes down, it pushes against these, pushes that up. You'll see how that works later. Right, I'm making this little template out of cardboard to start with. And then that's going to be, I'll show you in a second, hang on. Where are we going? We're going on there. That top shock absorber hole. Then that little hole there should be directly in line with that there. Right, I'm 
I normally cut this sort of stuff out of videos and I don't normally get involved in filming this sort of stuff because to me it doesn't really mean anything but to a lot of people this might give people ideas and show people how to do certain stuff which I sort of take for granted so you'll probably see a lot more of this sort of stuff that's what I'm saying so I'm going to make my little template out of cardboard first right and that's going to be the mount for my push rod for the seat linkage Need to take a little bit more off around there, make it look a bit neater. And then Bob's your uncle. Right, that there is a poor man's rose joint. Yeah, it looks like it might work.
I've got masking tape on here, but I'm going to give this seat base another paint up anyway. I, I never did finish it. I didn't finish smoothing the edges off of the things. And it's, I've been working on the bike quite a bit, it's, and it's been ridden, and it's got beaten up. So I'm going to rub it down and, and do that again. And I might not do the checks on it, because they might look silly with the shock absorber there. It might look better black to make that stand out, but, but we'll see. I'll sort that out. So that's the middle there. I'll line that up with that stud there. And two studs. And that should be the centre line. There. And that there, that mark there, that's where I figured out the shock absorber needs to go. So, now the scary bit. I've got to drill two holes in here. Hope I got it in the right place. Otherwise this is going to be like Swiss cheese. So this bit is a bit I've been looking forward to, or dreading, I'm not really sure which, to see if it works. I've got it all bolted on now loosely together, and I want to see what happens when I sit on it. Holy shit, it actually works, it's really good. I really want to ride it. But there's actually quite a big problem with it at the moment. And that is the fact that this clearance here. So what's going to happen is the rear suspension is going to go up at the same time the seat's going to go down. And that's, that's going to hit there. But I think I should be able to sort it out because I've got a lot of clearance here. So I can bring that actually closer to the seat. And if you have a look here, look. The seat's quite far back because I've been playing about with seat position. I realised it was quite nice having it that far back, but I don't actually need it that far back. So I can actually bring the whole seat forwards. Then I can actually move all this linkage forwards as well. And that should hopefully give me enough clearance. The problem I might run into is this clearance here because this is going to move forwards, these are going to be shorter, and this is going to be a steeper angle. So I might have to cut that away there. But when I actually build the proper one, this is only the prototype, this is going to be a round tube, the rose joints at the end anyway. So that might work out. It's also, it's a little bit soft. I don't weigh a lot, and it's, it's still a bit soft. I can wind the preload up on the spring, but actually shortening these and bringing the seat forwards is going to give it less leverage I think so it should stiffen it up a bit as well so this is what the basic setup looks like this is just a concept so it's not built properly yet this what I've got spaced out with nuts there that can be some round tube the same with on the front here and of course my poor man's rose joint there is going to get replaced with a real one but that's the concept anyway, and I know it works, so I've just got to bring it all forward so it doesn't hit the rear arch. And hopefully I should be able to get about 40 mil more, so it should be good. I've had to actually space these two bars out to miss the shock absorber, obviously. You can't do this sort of thing if you've still got the air boxes. But that's where we're at. I really want to ride it, so I want to get cracking with shortening it. Right, so that's where I'm at with the seat. There is going to be a part three, and that's going to be when I ride it and test it out. I've just got to move everything forward a little bit first. So I'm going to stick a camera underneath so you can see it all working and see the rear suspension working together with it as well. So if 
I haven't released the video yet, it's just going to be a few days, so hit that little bell icon so you know when. And don't forget to like and subscribe and comment, and all that good stuff as well. Have a great day.